Expectation for the boys team is to continue what they've been doing the last few years. Um, so, you know, being at the top, top of the hawk, um, and just, you know, working on consistency, um, dedication to the sport, and just staying strong. Um, goals for the girls is just to build. Um, we've been in kind of a building phase since last year, and we just want to continue that, um, get a really strong top five, and, you know, same thing, dedication, consistency. We're, both teams are working out, you know, twice as hard as they have in the past. Um, so we're really going to just, you know, keep pushing forward. Definitely, we're going to have a great top three, top four, uh, me and Raj, um, and Cameron Bean and Zach Ferreira. Um, definitely very strong runners. Um, obviously, we are lo we have lost um, David Lockhart and Antonio. They graduate graduated last year, um, and they were our top two. So that's a little difficult, but uh, we're looking to be very competitive with Oliver Ames and Sharon, who are the top two teams in the league. My outlook for the season is that we're really looking to like build the team up more. Um, we still have a small team this year, so we're just looking for them to improve more. We did a lot of summer work, and um, we're hoping to see that pay off during the season. Um, also, last year we had a lot of injuries, so we're actually um, – doing a lot more in injury prevention and trying to get everyone to the same sort of state of fitness so that we can have a more um, put together team. Um, so I would say for the boys, um, Colin Cochran and Cameron Bean. Um, also looking to see Raj Patel, John Lessa step up a bit. Um, and then on the girls side, looking for strong performances from Julia Bobek, Jen Billow and Sarah Veracruz. Bessie and Simeon and Lara Deb, they're working really hard to um, get back in shape, and Amanda Marola as well. Um, I see my co-captain Sarah doing really well this year. Um, I also see Jen Billo, and um, I'm hoping Amanda and Rihanna will step up. They're looking good when we're practicing. And In terms of up-and-coming up runners, we're looking at Steven Spontemps and um, Jonathan Lessa. Because they have been, they have shown um, continuous progress throughout the two previous seasons, and we expect them to, like, eventually break. They're going to break into the top seven. That's my bet for um, this season. Um, Sarah is a really great captain to work with. Um, she's really supportive, and we really feed off of each other. And um, she's a great runner as well. So I just think, like, together as a pair, like. We're good at getting the team together and like trying to build again. Um, yeah, I think she's a great captain. Um, Julia's been doing this a lot a longer than I have, and um, she knows what she's doing and she knows exactly what she's talking about. Um, she's really good with communicating with the girls and everything, and she's a good runner and a good role model to everyone else on the team. Raj is a very consistent runner. Um, he has short strides, but very powerful. He's a very powerful runner, uh, and he has terrific endurance. In what I what I see in Colin in terms of um, captainship, I see a distinct sense of leadership and um, moral like judgment because he'll he'll always do a run like whenever he won't cut he he'll barely cut point one of a mile. He will never cut a run, and also he's just been real. He's just been a hard trainer. He trains really hard and. Honestly, with all his times, he proved it. Like it, it's just like, it's just he just proves it through his times and his um, running capability. Um, so far, I've seen that they did work over the summer, which is amazing. Um, you know, the first part of the cross country season is the summer. Um, if you come in, if you come in not in shape, it's a lot more painful. So so far, I've seen that they're dialed in, they're focused, and they're ready to get it done. Our meets are at Houghton's Pond and at Borderlands, so if you want to come by and support the cross-country team, that would be great. But um, we're just looking forward to a great season. Maybe this year, definitely next year, we're looking to be number one in the league.